Hey y'all, it's Manbina, aka The Crafty Lefty, and today we're gonna to be doing a product review of Michael's Poinsettia Kit. It comes with three poinsettias like this in varying sizes. It's a really easy craft, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I made it and some tips and tricks I learned along the way. The best part about this kit is how quick it is. On the package, it does say it only takes 30 minutes. It took me a little bit longer than that, to be honest with you, um, but not that much longer. And also the supplies are super simple. All you're gonna need is a hot glue gun. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how I made this kit, as well as all the different ways that you can use this as home decor for the upcoming holiday season. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is this handy dandy instruction sheet. So while the instructions do look super simple, and they are, it's really important that you read them thoroughly each leaf and each flower in this kit is marked with a letter. So it's either gonna be A, B, or C. After you've punched out all of your leaves and all of your flowers, you're gonna to wanna to group your A's together, the B's together, and the C's together. So your A leaf and your A flower come together to make one complete poinsettia. So we are ready to assemble our Michaels poinsettia kit. It comes with three different sizes of poinsettias and all of the leaves and petals and accents that you see on the front. As always with these kind of flower kits, the very first step is to pop out all of the pieces. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So I have punched everything out and this is what I have. So I have three of these holly stems. I have three yellow circles that are in all different sizes corresponding with each of the three poinsettia flowers. I have these white and gold pom-poms, which are going to be glued on top of these yellow circles. I have, I think, seven or eight of these gold um, accent stems. I have the hexagonal backs that are going to be for each of my three poinsettia flowers. With your poinsettia flowers, they told you to group them by letters A, B, and C. So after I'd punched all of them out, I'm gonna flip over to the back and this is the letter A. So I'm gonna match this up with the rest of the letter A's that I see. So these are all A's. So this is going to be one whole poinsettia flower. Once I've folded it, scored it, and glued it, this is what it should be. So that's one. And then I'm gonna do my B's. that. Then I'm going to put my C's together. Okay, so these are all C's. So it's really great that they gave that marking on the back um, for the letters because then you wouldn't know which ones correspond to which points at a flower bundle. So that's really cool that they gave you that. Um, and as you can see, you know, the, those dotted score lines are pretty apparent and they actually have a little bit of indentation here. So I know once I go to fold them, it's gonna be really easy because they've done already half the job by giving me that indentation. And I'm just kind of doing this in my hand, but obviously I would put some pressure on a flat surface on my table so I can do this a little bit better but essentially you're gonna go through and fold all of these on those score lines for each of your poinsettia flowers as well as your green leaves. Okay, and they did the same thing for the leaves. So even though you have varying sizes, they've mar clearly marked them on the back um, which leaf is supposed to go with which poinsettia flowers. So the C's go with the C's, the B's, the B's, the A's, the A's. So it's really helpful that they did that actually because for example, I have five of these A's um, and I only have two of these smaller A's. So I would never know that they actually go to the same flower unless they had marked them for me, which they did. So I think it's just to sort of make that random look to these flowers, make them a little bit more natural, um, that not every leaf is gonna be the exact same size. So I think that'll be a cool look once it's actually all put together. So again, just like with the flowers, the score lines are really clear and they've actually made a pretty good indent here so that when I go to fold my leaf, 
it's just a very, very simple, clean fold there because those score lines, they already did such a great job of doing that for me. They basically did half the work. So just gonna go through and fold all my leaves. And if you'll notice, the score line ends here because you don't actually have to fold this part. This is the part that you're gonna be gluing down behind your petals so it can actually stay flat. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and fold all my leaves and I'll meet you back here. So I am ready to start gluing. This is my medium hexagonal shape that's going to be the back of my poinsettia leaf. So they told me the very first thing is to glue your largest flower to the middle of that hexagonal leaf. So I'm using hot glue. I thought I'd get started with the bee flower just because, you know, not too big, not too small, just Goldilocks it. So I'm just putting a bit of hot glue at the back and I'm just going to apply some pressure, make sure this stays put. So now I'm going to be doing my middle layer and as I do my middle flower and put it down, I'm going to make sure that it's slightly slanted so it doesn't go right on top of the leaves, but it's at an angle. The cardstock that they gave is pretty sturdy, so it doesn't really seem like it's gonna tear if I just apply some pressure and do that. And then let me do the last one. Just gonna do this at a little bit of an angle as well, like that. And then I'm just going to take my medium yellow cardstock piece here, put a dab of glue, And I should have really done it the other way. I didn't realize the B was there. <laughs> but hopefully my pom-pom will cover up that B. It's a rookie mistake. All right, and I'm just actually gonna put the glue here. Just make sure I cover that B up. And then I'm just gonna put my pom-pom right on top and apply some pressure so he stays in place. And that's it. That actually didn't take very long at all to assemble. Nice, so that's my poinsettia flower. This is the medium size. I think it came out pretty good. At this point, I'm just going to arrange my leaves um, and after I'm happy with the way that they are, I'll go back and glue them. So for this medium B size, they did give me five leaves that are that shape and then two of the smaller variety. So maybe I'll just tuck this guy in like this and this guy on this side. I do find that it's easier to put your hot glue on the hexagonal bit here. So. I'm just gonna peel it back and show you. I'm gonna put my hot glue right there. And then I'm gonna put my leaf on and just kind of hold it in place and apply some pressure. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Rather than put glue on your leaf, because you don't know how far in or out the leaf is going to be, it's much easier to put hot glue on your hexagonal base first. Okay, so I'm all done with my medium poinsettia. And let's see, there's some areas that have more gaps than others. So maybe I will add a gold stem here, like this. And maybe I'll add a smaller gold stem. Okay, so now that I'm done with my medium leaf, I'm going to move on. All right, so just like the other flower, I'm just going to take some hot glue, put it on the back. I'm doing the C flower now. And with the folds that you made, it kind of lends itself to be staggered. You'll notice as you put it down and apply pressure, it kind of conveniently goes in that staggered direction from the flower that's on top of it. Now we're just going to add our leaves. 
So it seems like they gave us five leaves in this size and then two in the smaller size. So I'm just gonna add my five bigger size first and then tuck in those smaller leaves wherever I see holes. Okay, so it looks like I did a pretty even job, but this has a little bit more space than the others, so I'm gonna add in a leaf here. Now I have some open spaces here, so maybe I'll do a holly frond like this. And maybe a gold one like this. So we'll see how that looks. I forgot to add my pom-pom, so let me do that now. Gonna add glue on the letter side this time. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, and we are all done with our flowers, so we're just gonna add those leaves. So they gave us five leaves of this size and then two of the smaller size. So I'm going to put down all five of my bigger leaves first, see where there's holes, and then add in the smaller ones. Okay, and I realized I'm an idiot because <laughs> I folded my leaves so that this scoring line is showing on all three of these here. So don't do what I do. I was supposed to have this part show that doesn't have the white poke, um, dotted line. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's hot glued, so we can't do anything now, but um, I'm just going to <laughs> see how I can um, accent this with some of these holly twigs. Um, maybe coming out like that. So I'm just gonna see what looks best. Okay y'all, we are done. I have finished adding all of the decorative golden stems and the holly twigs to all three of my poinsettia leaves and I really like how they turned out. Um, I would say the directions are really easy to follow. <laughs> you just have to make sure that you adhere your leaves in the right direction. I really like the glitter accents um, to the poinsettias. I think these gold stems really add something, a little bling bling um, to your look. And these uh, holly twigs are also a very unusual shape. So whatever background you put them against, whether it's white or gold, it's definitely gonna stand out just from the nature of those of those stems being the, the way that they are. Even if you see on my table as you lay it out, it, the silhouette is just really striking. So um, I really like that. And I really like how they gave all different kind of sizes of leaves so that your flowers do look different. They don't just look like small, medium, and large. Um, and especially the way that you accent it with those golden stems and those holly twigs, they can really make each flower look unique. Thanks so much for making this poinsettia kit with me, y'all. I think it is a great addition to Michael's holiday craft kit line. I think it's a super quick craft that you can easily do in an afternoon, and the result is pretty nice as well. So we'll enjoy adding this to my Christmas decor collection. I would highly recommend um, purchasing this kit because I do think it's pretty versatile in terms of where you can display it in your house. So I chose to put it above one of my doorways. I think it was a perfect spot for it because it kind of filled up that area and I didn't have too much other Christmas decor in that room. I think it would also be a great accent to a table runner, or I could even see putting a tall pillar candle in the middle of three of the flowers and having it as your table centerpiece. 
It could also be hung on your door in place of a holiday wreath. I think that would be really pretty if you would put a big red or green satin bow and sort of placed all three poinsettias around that bow. I think that would be a great accent to your door. And finally, another idea is that you could put all three poinsettias in a shadow box. You can remove the glass so that you could actually touch the poinsettias through the frame. And because the poinsettias themselves are very 3D with the folded leaves and the gold bursts of the twigs, I think it would be a really cool way to display them in a place where you normally would have some of your other Christmas frames. So as always, keep it crafty, and until next time, bye!